Georgia Waffle House gets a little surprise. 7.1 magnitude earthquake in Alaska. Panda seems to be the only one enjoying the cold. Howdy, Panthers. It is a marvelous Monday. Indeed it is, Marissa Sandler. I'm Rob Laveroni. Let's get the party started. Seven-year-old Jennifer Mary Nicholson is being held at the Cobb County Jail for some unsavory behavior. Nicholson entered a Waffle House in Kennesaw, Georgia, and began removing articles of clothing allegedly unprovoked. She also punched innocent bystander Jenny Box in the nose. The naked woman then proceeded to chuck dinner plates at windows and employees before being detained. She faces charges of assault and public indecency. What a scene that must have been! It's not every day that Waffle House has live entertainment. <laughs> Speaking of live entertainment, let's watch Rob Leveroni's Family Feud video. Hello. Welcome to Play High School Family Feud. We have the battle of the tenders tonight between the girls and the boys. <laughs> I need Everett and I need Emily. Come up. <laughs> we pulled a hundred freshman girls at Plant High School. Who is the hottest senior guy? Joe Ryan. Yay! <laughs> All right. Lauren Lashers, we pulled a hundred freshman girls. Who is the hottest senior guy? Uh. Austin Gage. <laughs> Lisa, we asked 100 freshman girls, who is the hottest senior guy? Michael Murphy. Good answer. Good answer. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, we're back to Emily. Emily, we pulled 100 freshman girls. Who is the hottest senior guy? Um, Peter Kiefer. Ooh, that competition looks intense. You know, Joe Ryan is pretty hot. Man, what? Just <laughs> go. All right, moving on. Over in Alaska, there was a 7.1 magnitude earthquake that really shook things up. A. A. Yeah, yesterday morning, there was a jolt, or more of a tender nudge, since there are no reported injuries. That sounds good, A. <laughs> Yeah, they say that some fine china was broken or something, but I'll take that any day if it means no one's hurt, eh? Yeah, well, speaking of things up north, how about them Carolina Panthers in the playoffs yesterday? How about them? Final score, 49-15 Panthers on their home turf. Broncos versus Panthers in the Super Bowl coming up on the 31st. With that, let's move on to our announcements and talk about some plant Panther sports. Over the weekend, Plant's very first water polo practice was held this past Saturday. We are thankful no players froze to death. Wrestling scored 4-4 four four at divisionals, duels, and took fifth with two close losses. Boys and girls basketball had their senior night on Friday. Congrats to all the seniors for four awesome years. Congratulations to our cheerleaders, too, with their final competition this past weekend. The boys and girls lacrosse teams wrapped up their tryouts last week, and rosters are set. The future looks bright for the 2016 season. Go get them, laxers. <laughs> And now it's time for some school announcements. The Pepo Plant is looking to hire writers, photographers, and layout designers. Applications are on pepoplant.com. Completed applications are due by March 4th. The yearbook staff is also looking for qualified peeps to keep the awesomeness going. Fill out the application and return to room 103. The application can be found on the website below. It's Literacy Week, and the Media Center will be having an author's visit with Maria DeVivo this Thursday, January 28th, starting period 4 through 7. Students are welcome to sign up to attend. They must see Mr. Penn in the Media Center before the end of today if they would like to be a part of the visit. Attention, best buddies. Don't forget to RSVP for the Friendship Ball by February 5th. The ball will be on Sunday, February 21st from 4 to 7. 
Attention to all teachers. The Academic Foundation classroom requests are due this week by the 28th. Take advantage of this awesome opportunity to upgrade or get new equipment to enhance your classroom experience. Congratulations to the 18 plant students selected to perform with the Hillsborough All-County Orchestra. If you're in need of community service hours, the Children's Cancer Center is looking for volunteers for Gasparilla Art Festival coming up. It's a great organization to get involved with no matter what. Students who are sad about the retirement of Mrs. Tolbert can rest easy because we have a new guidance counselor. Please welcome Miss Louise Yergi to our guidance staff. She's already off to a great start as underclassmen begin their one-to-one -one meetings today to set their schedules for next year. Today on the lunch menu, we have Chef's Homemade Meat Lasagna, Buffalo Chicken Pizza with some spicy sweet potatoes. Mm. Mm. Now it's time for our Motivational Monday. You don't need a new year to make a change. All you need is a Monday. Make this the week you change your life. Well, that's all for today, Plant. Hi, I'm Marissa Sandler. And I'm Rob Laveroni. Have a wonderful and motivational Monday.